22 rooms full of stuff at this place. You gotta come down here and check it out. All right, guys, what's up? I am so excited. Today, me and the bee are out here to visit this place right back here. It's called Treasures and Everything Collectible in Denison, Ohio. I filmed it about a year ago, and the first thing I want to point out is across the street where there is a giant boot on this building. <laughs> Let's go on inside here and see how this has changed. I think it's been about a year ago that I filmed in here. I recently ran into the owner at Walmart and she asked me if I'd come back and film it again and I am so excited to do that because there is so much awesome stuff in here. From what I understand there are even a couple of new rooms in here full of stuff. Wait till you see this. Now if you want to come down and check this place out, it's located basically on the corner of 3rd and Grant Street, right beside the Lanning House and directly across the street from Pangrazio's Pizza. Look at this guys, over 3,000 square feet of awesomeness. <laughs> All right. First thing that popped out at me as I walked in the door here is this awesome Peanuts lunchbox. Check this out. <laughs> oh my God, I love this thing, Holly Hobby. That is pretty cool. I remember reading these comics. My dad brought home like a whole stack of Peanuts comics. They were they were in little books, like little paperback books. They weren't actually like comic books. But speaking of comic books, I also noticed these right inside the door here. Action Comics. Spider-Man and a Human Torch. I got a ton of these things. I'm not a big comic book collector, but I know that a lot of people love them. Check it out, guys from when I was here like a year ago. <laughs> and for any future visitors. Guys, look at this spooky Halloween sign. I love Halloween. <laughs> Almost missed this one. Pumpkin patch friends care for one another. Spooky spider. <laughs> okay, this place is so huge. I mean, you can see like down the hallway here, it's just all the way down and there's this room and there's these rooms i think we'll start in here yeah look at that look how long it is this place is just stocked i mean there's so much in here it's like i don't even know where to start this is a cool little nook back here look at that that's cool what's this book an old sweetheart of mine oh fourth eclectic reader I like that little nook there. Look at this. I, I believe this would be like Victorian style, if I'm not mistaken. Kind of reminds me of Downton Abbey. <laughs> oh, look, a popster friend. Okay. What the? Look at this kind of a face is that <laughs> all right oh my gosh all right look at this guys look at all these dresses in here this is like a this has got to be a wedding dress will you marry me <laughs> costume jewelry look at the bunny form down here that's funny Ooh, look at this picture here. That's kind of spooky, actually. Here's another older book. McGuffey's fifth eclectic reader. I think the other one we just looked at was the fourth. Saturday Evening Post. We got 1919. That's pretty cool. Look at this picture here. <laughs> okay, look guys. This is the layout. Look how huge it is. What in the world? What do you call that thing? A uh, 
a cherub, a naked cherub in the snow. What could that be? Look at this room of lamps, guys. If you were decorating, like for a certain time period, this would be the perfect place to come in to find just anything you needed, seriously. Look at this. It's funny to me how at like a point in time, and I don't know, I'm not good with times like this, but at one point in time, it was not popular to smile in pictures. Like there was actually something about it that you weren't supposed to smile in pictures. If you know what the deal is with that, let me know. Look at this Declaration of Independence. I think this is called a tapestry. It hangs on the wall. That's really thick. It's almost like carpet. I mean, the tag here does say rug. <laughs> so I guess it is a carpet. I don't know if I would use it as a carpet nowadays. It would be better hanging on the wall, but that's pretty cool. Pass and stow. Okay, let's keep on moving here. Whoa. See, this is the kind of stuff that I love. Old vintage... Uh, advertising and retail things all prescribed for automatic washers this is awesome i love this see if i was a collector this is the kind of stuff that i would collect this is huge look this was 50 pounds of uh washing detergent i love these old books story hour readers book two And look at this cedar chest here, guys. I remember my mom always talking about her cedar chest. And she actually keeps things in there, like pictures and stuff that uh, that we used to draw when we were little and that my kids drew when they were little. And you could smell it. I mean, you open it and you smell the cedar. Look at this diner. I think this is a, what you, a shower curtain, actually. I love that. I love that 50s stuff. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about right here. I love Coca-Cola stuff. I've always said that Coca-Cola has the greatest marketing strategies, starting with that man right there. They basically invented Santa. <laughs> Not really, but, I mean, they definitely took advantage of Santa being the colors of Coke. Oh, sweet. Look at this patch back here. Seal Test Ice Cream. <laughs> this is cool right here. Enjoy a cone. Eat it all, cone. And look at this Michelob Light. Light. A Michelob Light Light. That is, that's like a giant coin. That is pretty cool. I've seen a lot of beer signs and lights, but I don't think I've ever seen one like this. That is really cool. Look at this, a Heineken clog. Leonard will like that. <laughs> and I love this old time stuff here. I'm not a bar person, but that is really cool. Look at the design on there. I love that. I just can't believe how stocked full this place is. Gilchrist number 78. What is this? Ice shaver. All right, what? Oh, okay, I see. So you must put this down on the ice and go like this, like on a big block of ice. And then it fills this part up. Like with shaved ice, obviously. Okay, look at this. We got Hires Root Beer. Canada Dry, there's another Hires back there. Ooh, there's Coke. Oh my god, wait. <laughs> Let's see if I can open this. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen, guys. Look. Lawson's. That is cool. <laughs> you don't see very much Lawson's stuff anymore. 
wherever there's Lawson's, you pay less for milk. That is a half gallon milk jug. That is awesome. I love that. I just love that old advertising stuff. And actually on the way down here, I passed an old Lawson's. Um, it's a, uh, it's now a dentist office. All right, let's see what's out here. Yeah, look at, look at this, all this uh, advertising, this uh, beer and alcohol advertising. We have a giant Coke sign down there. Hold on, let's look at that quick. I love this old Coke stuff. That's really cool. That's tin, too. Pepsi Cola. Okay, hold on. I gotta look at this, too. <laughs> There's so much in here, you just don't know what direction to go. So, look at this. I like this. That's the guardian angel looking over the two. I always send my guardian angels to people I love. <laughs> Old medical stuff. Look, Sloan's liniment. You guys remember this? <laughs> oh my gosh. You saw this coming, you knew they were gonna go pop on your knee. Look at this Genesee beer sign up here. That's another rotating one. I believe that that just, I don't think that's just because it's hanging. I think that's how it's made, that it will sit there and just spin constantly. Who's your bud? NASCAR Texaco. That's really cool. I like that. Look at this, guys. Mobilize horsepower for winter. Mobile gas. I just love that older advertising. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so cool. Sunoco. Official fuel of NASCAR. Those are stickers, I think. This is kind of a cool light. I wouldn't mind having something like that in my office. If I wasn't downsizing, I would have so much stuff in my office. Oh my god, look at this. It's an old creeper that's made into a table. Comet. It's even still got the wheels on the bottom. <laughs> that's really cool. I love things that are repurposed like that. Good year. These old license plates. Some of these must be motorcycle license plates, I think. I think that's the small ones. Yeah, motorcycle license plate. Hubcaps. Super Sohio antifreeze in a can. <laughs> what is this? Toledo Torch Company. The other one says highway torch so i wonder if these were like the uh the hazard lights of the past you actually have to light them i bet they were oh this is really cool guys look formula shell flag don't see too many shell gas stations anymore these old magazines popular science the do-it-yourself book what is this here? Cyclone Seed Sower. The Cyclone Cedar Company. Oh my god, look at this black flag sprayer. <laughs> what in the heck is this bazooka looking thing? Thunderbird Scareaway. Potato Cannon? Oh my god. That may be the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. A friggin' potato cannon, guys. <laughs> I know what videos I'm gonna be stuck on watching for the rest of the day. Oh, now this is cool. Look at this. Rinx lawnmower parts. And it's got the old Rinx tag on it. Um, there was a, there's a, a former Rinx in New Philly. I can't think of what it is right now, but it's down there by Denny's. I'll have to film that one day. I know that it was a Rinx back in the day, and it is still uh, shaped. I love that. Shaped like the front of the Rinx. 
Um, I wish I could remember what it's called right now. Well, it's like a, I always want to say Quality Farm and Fleet, but that's not what it is. Um, but it became an antique shop itself, and then it became this new shop. Look at this. We got taxidermy out here. What the heck kind of a bird is this? A quail. Look at this. I even love stuff like this. People in uh, local Facebook groups, they love to see things like this and, and talk about memories of these places. Gibbs Restaurant in Sugar Creek. Ron's Place, Baltic, Ohio. Rowan Hardware. Sarge's Randolph Inn. Where's that at? Waterloo Road. That must be Akron, maybe? Oh, I almost missed this. Look at this. Sinclair Road Map. Sinclair is an old gas station. And a dinosaur was their, their uh, mascot logo. That's pretty cool. How many times have I said that's pretty cool in here? And over here they've got uh, Boy Scout uniforms and patches and stuff. Which then leads into a military room. I love how everything flows together in here too. Like you've got all of this stuff, uh, all the NASCAR and beer memorabilia, and as you come down here, then it becomes the, the room with all the old tools. I think that's so cool because this stuff, it's almost like when you're making a video, when you're making a film, and uh, and one scene kind of leads to the next one. You know, you start seeing things that are coming up in the next scene that sort of, I don't know, accessorize the next scene. Look at all these old postcards. I actually have, ooh, Gettysburg. Richard Wolf would like that. I actually have a couple of boxes of old uh, postcards that my grandma had. Here's the blimp. And uh, she used to collect that stuff, that and stamps. Look at this. For the last time, lady, I'm telling you, it ain't that kind of house. <laughs> my brother would love all this stuff, this uh, military memorabilia. Okay, what in the world? I've never seen anything like that before. It says, uh, firing range dummy. It must not be intended to be shot at, though, because this thing would splinter into a billion pieces with one shot. This immediately reminds me of when my sister used to tell this stupid joke all the time. She'd just say, who was buried in Grant's tomb? And most people didn't get it. <laughs> oh, look at this. Great Race of the Mississippi. Uh, a canal boat, maybe? Oh my god, I almost missed this.